Hello everybody and welcome to J Arcade. Today we're going to review a game of my childhood. And I remember it and keep getting confused with another game. Uh, it is Wardener for the arcade. Uh, you may have not heard of it. It could be a gem. It could be not. We're going to see if it's first or flop. <laughs> All right, so the game that we're reviewing today is Wardener, as I said before. The first thing you're going to do is uh, enter your name, uh, which is <laughs> the opposite of, like, literally every other game that makes you enter it at the end. But this game here wants to get to know you before it wants to show you. So, I like this. This is really funny. Uh, hi, would you too like to join me on a Fantasia? Follow me. So... You know, I don't really understand where they're to, but there's some, like, dude here with naked, the statue. Oh, no, they lured you into the forest. Oh, no, I'm going to change your girlfriend into a crystal ball and present her to Mr. Wardener. So I always thought the warden was the dude, but now the warden is the bad guy. I don't quite understand. Anyways, so your girl becomes a ball and poof, gone. All right, gotcha. So the game then progresses into a platformer. So then you have platformer dealing with these uh, gremlins. I, I, I swear I've seen these like toys before, right? Like, weren't these things around? Like, huh? Anyways, um, yeah. So you know, there's some really interesting things about this. Essentially, you're gonna you're walking through about five different levels. Uh, where you're going to be collecting money, crystals, capes, <laughs> shoes, <laughs> um, thread, and clocks. Essentially, those are the items in which I've seen. I think there's also like a whistle. I don't really know what it does because I couldn't reach it. Uh, these, at the very beginning of the game, you can just shoot one fireball uh, at a time. Uh, but as you collect more of these yellow golden balls, you'll start to be able to shoot more projectiles all at once. So the, once you have two pips, you'll start shooting two fireballs and etc. The one thing I really felt unique about this game is that collecting money in gold isn't just for points. Uh, it's, it's also uh, allows you to buy stuff in the store. Uh, now, like, when I say buy stuff in the store, you know, these things are actually fairly useful. Uh, in an arcade game, that's not something you're used to. That's more like a role-playing game kind of a atmosphere. But, uh, yeah, collecting money is, is a big part of this game. And, um, you know, especially in the first level where you can collect money and you can uh, purchase, uh, a, like, a decent upgrade to your fireballs. Uh, and those last forever, like... Even after you continue or die or, um, you know, anything happens to your character, you can keep these upgrades. And when you keep these upgrades, like, forever, I mean, you can, you know, you, you don't have to worry. Like, you don't have to feel like, oh, I'm, you know, I'm starting back at scratch. So, in that, in that sense, it kind of reminds me of... Uh, uh, a bit of Ghosts and Goblins, where, you know, when when you have the knife, you don't want to lose it. So you're trying to do whatever it takes, never to lose it. And if you continue, or if you lose a life, or whatever, the only way you can lose the knife is by uh, essentially starting over as a new game, or, you know, collecting a, an item that you didn't want, like the, <laughs> like the fire, uh, <laughs> or something of the sort. Either way, um... The first couple levels are fairly easy. Uh, the main enemy, which uh, kind of resembles a little bit of that uh, Demon Crest guy, the Red Demon uh, from Ghosts and Goblins. Uh, he, he is not anything like him when it comes to difficulty, but uh, he does get slightly harder. He's the main boss of all the levels except for the last one. And he gets a little harder every time he spits one extra fireball or whatever. But as long as you're shooting him with the fire, uh, he will not charge at you. So like every once in a while, he'll do like try to get a charge off on you uh, and start going towards you. But if you hit him, uh, he'll start up the charge. So as long as you keep keep shooting, 
um, at the right time when he's going to charge, then you can stop him from actually getting closer, which, you know, for the most part, it's the most deadly part because his fireballs are just, you just jump or move away. So not, not hard to dodge. Uh, when you go to, to store to purchase stuff, there are a bunch of different things you can buy. Uh, you can buy the cape, you can buy the thread, you can buy the clock, and then you can buy a different type of fireball, which I mentioned before. So uh, there are three different ones. I prefer the moon, uh, the moon crescent one. It kind of makes circles. Uh, it at first I thought maybe it wasn't that good because it's kind of slow and it goes across the screen. But I found that like because of the slow, you can kind of shoot it and then go forward, and then you'll hit something before it actually appears on the screen, which is kind of kind of helpful. Um, also, uh, it's good because it hits a bigger range. Now, the other one I, I seen, I don't think I've seen them all, but, uh, the first one, uh, I think it's like a star or something, uh, it does like a direct shot, but it's, it's like across the screen. So like a straight good for like, if you're, if you, if you want to be accurate with stuff and, and it's quicker. Um, so level one, you're in a forest level two, you're like in a strange factory i'm not sure what they make i'm assuming they make human meat <laughs> uh because otherwise it's, it's definitely not like work health safety like i would go to hr immediately if if there were like blades just spinning around on conveyor belts and that's where you had to walk but anyways um the um the third level is like a big flamey town. I, I'm assuming it's supposed to be like a flamey village, but it's more like almost like a volcano because you know there's like fire all over the place. Yet uh, yeah, it's oh, it's probably the worst level. Um, uh, level three has uh, these pits of fire which you have to jump over, and they are abysmal. You just die and you die and you die and the, and the worst part is that you're you know even if you try to survive and try to you know live you know you're like oh okay i'll just you know whatever like you're gonna kill me so i'll just go ahead and uh you know i'll i'll just go ahead and and, and wait for it to line up but then the things are exactly timed so that you 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 got to jump on one then jump on another platform and they're going up and down and they're timed in a way that oh no okay well that's not gonna be very good because uh, as this one goes down, this one goes up, and, and then by the time this one goes back down again, um, it, this one's it's too late to get on this one. And, and oh, there's been times where I, I was just like, I, it's literally impossible. I have to die here. And I had to kind of wait for it to line up uh, because it didn't reset. And I moved the screen back and forth. I Maybe there's another way that I'm missing, but it... It was atrocious that was it's definitely one of the parts of the game that felt really cheap so after you pass the fire of the pits of the whatever it is uh you get to another place uh level four which is practically a maze this thing's got like ladders and you see a fall and then there's these doors you walk in and meet these random people who say kill the spectator or specter and I'll give you something for it. And I don't even know what the specter was. I looked around. I couldn't find a specter. Uh, and, you know, if you don't follow the certain routes, I don't know how you're going to meet him. Either way, I there was a couple times I got lost, just wondering where to go. But luckily, when you die, it just sets you on the right path. Now, I don't know if the right path will lead you to treasure, but it certainly leads you forward, which is a good start. Uh, with this game, you're you're uh, normally you're just going from left to right. In this one, you, you still go left to right, kinda, but you're going up as well and down. And even brings you to ladders where you think you're climbing somewhere. And then when you climb to the top, it's, it's a dead end and somebody just throws a rock at you. You can't avoid. So you're either getting hit or dying. I, I don't really know, but it's definitely a beginner trap. So ooh, uh, once you dispatch him, it's pretty easy. You just fall this gigantic pit for like ever. Uh, and then you're at the final level. And the final level is a weird one, I'll tell you a lot. You've got, 
uh, these heads you've never seen before and you shoot them and they bounce all over the place bounce 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 and you're trying to dodge them uh, little did I know that you can kind of change your projector here as you shoot them but uh, after a while I kind of figured that out and was able to kind of I guess make it easier to kind of get through them because ducking jumping doesn't work so you gotta just duck and stand and duck stand walk duck and you edge your way to the to the to the next area, which is just falling down another spot. And then you got this big rock dude, and you're like, Whoa, "What's his deal?" So then you're walking up to him, you shoot him, and he starts spawning dudes. And you're like, "Oh shoot!" And these guys take like six or seven hits just to kill him. And you, if you don't have a bunch of things you can spam, you got to be close, or you're or you're not or you're not going to be able to get them in time. So I've died a few times to that guy. And in fact, I had to like try to figure out that you got to shoot him kill him before he the, the spawns actually like get up because they, they spawn like these little blobs and then they turn into dudes and then jump over the, the little gap to the other side and then you can shoot the, the rock guys on the other side oh that's what was annoying the next one is just a fire it's just a dragon dude who shoots fire up and down and it's pretty easy you just kind of jump the lower fireballs duck the higher ones and you're shooting when you're ducking. It's really easy. Uh, after him, there's this room with a pile of ghosts you've never seen before. And you're just shoot, 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 shoot. A lot of times they just crowd up on you. You can't get on the other side to avoid them. So you're just... You gotta figure it out. So I slowly figured out that you have to shoot all the ones on the right first. Shoot all of them on the left. Shoot on the right. Shoot to the left. And ooh, uh, you figure it out and you got them. And then you gotta do it all over again. So then it makes you do the, the heads, the the, 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 the dude with the spawning stuff, the, the fire guy, and the ghosts again for the second time. And then you fight the dragon, the one that's at the end of every level. So you're like, oh, okay, this must be the end of the level. So you're just shooting him and he has nothing special. He just shoots when he shoots a fireball when he gets up again. Okay, he did that before. <laughs> no biggie. Uh, once you beat him, then you go down these stairs, and it's like, ooh, these gigantic stairs, where are they going? And you see this old man, and he's just like, oh, you can't beat me, what are you doing? And I'm like, oh, yeah, I won't get you, and, you know, he shoots lightning out of his staff, and you're like, ah! Luckily, I figured I could duck it, because he does it before he gets close to you, so I'm like, oh, okay, that's duckable, right? And then when he jumps, he like like hobbles in the air, and then he goes, oh, light ball or blue balls <laughs> or something like that. And he just shoots these balls at you, and you're just avoiding the old man's balls. Uh, and then eventually, you'll be able to get them, because you just keep shooting them, dodge his stupid balls, and you beat them. And you're just like, wow, okay, that's the final boss. That's pretty easy. Uh, yeah, okay. <laughs> the next part is the big demon dude. So then it's just like, oh, whoa, what's this? And he just shoots a volley of fire. And if you're not paying attention, you're just going to keep dying here. Because you're going to be like, what am I supposed to do? Luckily, there's like a one little spot that you can dodge it. And you have to run to it and dodge it. And then you have to run back to the other spot, which is on the other side. Dodge it. Run back to the other spot. And then dodge it. And then run back. Run back. Run back. Back and forth. Back and forth. Back and forth. And God forbid you duck by accident because you're just slamming back and forth while you're shooting. Because you're doing this for like a while. And uh, I <laughs> it was like, well, it's... It's a bit crazy because like so he, he rises up in the air, he goes down, so like sometimes he shoots fire like right above your head and you're just like, What how am I supposed to avoid that in time? And but you get a pattern though, so uh, <laughs> after you spend enough coins quarters, uh you'll 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 get through that. Uh, now, if you do end up dying, whether at an old man stage or not, he sends you back to the beginning of the whole level, uh if you have to continue. Otherwise you start at the beginning of the stairs, which is pretty fair. The one cool thing is, is that as you begin beating him down, uh, the big demon dude, uh, he's just spitting less fire. So you're like, oh, he's getting weaker, he's weaker, he's weaker, and then boom, he's dead. You're like, yeah. 
And then if you get the princess and she's not a ball anymore, and you go, yeah. And then the castle starts disappearing in squares. And you're like, yeah, congratulations. It's the squares. God, castle. And you're like, okay. So, I mean, that's pretty cool, I guess. Uh, but anyways, uh, you know, once you get that, it counts up all your gold, and you got this big score, and then you can go be like, My name is whatever, and look at the score I got after, you know, 25 continues. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I think it's it's a fun game. I mean, the game itself kind of has, I don't know why, but every time I, I, I thought about this game, I was like, this is Willow, right? And people were like, yeah, I guess. And then only a couple weeks ago, did someone say, no, you were talking about Wardener. And I'm like, that's Wardener? And I and I should have just checked it out, right? Because I should have just went, loaded up Willow and been like, this is not the game I remember. <laughs> right? But yeah, no, I was just like, I didn't, I thought it was Willow. Like, it felt like Willow. It looked like kind of like Willow, right? And Willow is kind of magical and stuff. I don't know if his girlfriend becomes a crystal ball. I, I don't remember that part. But, you know, um, I think it's a great game. I think. It's a good game. I should say great. Great's like a, a, a little bit too high. Uh, I would rate this probably a 6.5 out of 10. Uh, it's got a lot of good platformer. It's got a lot of secrets. Uh, and the store thing, like the store aspect of it, is what's most memorable for me. To me, that just felt like a role-playing game. Like, I'm playing an RPG, a platform RPG. It's like, this is fun. But, yeah. Um, in reality, there's some cheap spots like that the the platform to the fire that you just like literally you die and you die and you die and then you, they, they won't line up you're just like a dying again i guess uh and yeah the final boss is kind of annoying because you know he just litters the fire everywhere and it, sometimes it's just like it's no you, you don't get enough time to move um luckily over time i guess enough quarters in you'll you'll get the pattern but uh, otherwise it's it's kind of rough and uh, yeah, it's a cutesy game. I would say give it a shot if you're going to like it. Uh, for me, I, it just reminds me of when I was in St. Anthony, when I was like an eight year old. I went to the arcade and even though they had a lot of different arcade games, I think they didn't have a lot of good ones. A lot of the ones in St. Anthony that I remember were those ones that had like 10 different games that you put a quarter in and they give you like two minutes of gameplay and you either lose or your time of your two minutes of play comes up and then you have to put more quarters in to continue playing. Uh, that's, that's not cool. And then those games were like mostly NES games that were just re remodded to, for this purpose. So that's not cool. Um, the other ones were the, uh, I don't remember, there was, like, I remember when I was in Grand Falls, they had, like, like Top Gun, uh, not, not Top Gun, but, uh, Afterburner, and they had the full Afterburner chair with the, with this rockingness and the, the big joystick and the Tron, discs of Tron that you were actually sitting inside, you know, sh you know throw them discs at them, and they had the hologram game, Time Traveler, and you're like, whoa, yeah, but, like, this arcade just had, like, I don't know, illegal machines probably? I have no idea. Uh, but this game was one of them. Uh, Wardener. And it's memorable for me. So uh, I played it. I beat it. It was fun. I'll probably try to one credit it in the future. If you like what you're hearing or what uh, this video, just go ahead and like, subscribe, and comment below to let me know what you think about Wanderer. Is it, a f is it a first? Or is it a flop? Is it a first? Or is it the worst? I forgot what this show was called. <laughs> uh, is, it a, is it a first? Or is it a blurst? Is first or first or first or flop? Oh, is it a is it a first or is it a flop? And not the other things I said.